Congress. Why is Congress willing to give Wall Street, the bankers there in New York, $700 billion in bailout money and are being a little bit tight when it comes to the automakers who only want about one twentieth of that? Dan McGinn is an auto industry consultant and James Catuso is a fellow at the Heritage Foundation. I want to, hi, James, thank you as well. Let me, John, what is it, what do you think of that guy? He has a tough job here. Part of the problem with the American automakers is to compete with the cars coming into this country and the cars that are made here by foreign automakers. Yeah, we're, Chris, People we're, are choosing other products. Uh, look, we're, we're having a tough fight. We're competing. The auto industry, American industry, has about 47% of the market. But, but Chris, in, in Alabama, in Texas, and Mississippi, across the South, we spent over $3.5 billion One, of taxpayer two, money in those states to four, build five. the plants for our competitors. We built, I mean, they're built, those plants are built by whom? Our taxpayers paid to build the, the Toyota plants and Honda plants. Look, these are good I mean, companies. They got tax breaks in those states. Tax breaks okay, in those states. We support them. They got tax breaks in local states. No, no, no I'm saying so. We we help support them, but 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 the issue is this: this is this is about jobs. It's not just, this is not about an academic policy or an economic debate in Washington. It's about three million jobs. It's a million okay. people who are on pensions. It's a million people who are on health. So you're benefits. against the, you're for the bailout and against the uh, bankruptcy. I'm for a loan for the industry, absolutely. And how long would you give them? Oh, if, if, if they do what they talk today, serious oversight board, you give them the money, and they said they... What happens if they can't pay it back? They said that they, they believe... Would with, you with give the money knowing they probably can't pay it back? No, they probably look. If they, if they tell me they're serious, Chris, this is five percent of the seven hundred billion dollars we gave Wall Street to try to save okay, three million good. jobs in this country. You've got to make that bet. Okay, Mr. Gattuso, you don't agree. Well, it's funny. We have a new floor now for what's considered significant in budgets. It used to be the Marine Corps band. Anytime someone proposed spending that would cost less than the Marine Corps band, you could get it through automatically in Congress because, it, you know, of course, it's more important than that. Now the floor is has gone up to $700 billion. Anything that costs less than $700 billion should go through because, after all, that, that that's less than we spend the financial bailout. The, the, the point is the financial bailout and, and the auto bailout are two different things, are, are considered differently. What, what, one was, was the lifeblood of money flowing through the economy in a macro sense, macro intervention. This is interference in, in the competitive, uh, 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 to help out individual companies who have failed over decades in, in the competitive process. And also, you have to remember that, that we've learned a few lessons from the financial bailout, too. And, and frankly, they're, they're not happy ones. If, if anything, the, the lessons have been that we should be more careful, not less careful, but more careful about bailing out industries. We know the problems. Okay. We know the problems of transparency, of over oversight. Sure, okay, so let me answer your question. Are well, you saying sure. the difference is a big, big economy, financial institutions are more important than car making? Oh, come on. This, are we going to protect 401ks for people, but we're not going to protect the jobs for people? This is about giving money to Wall Street where we don't even know, where we don't even know what happened, where it went. There were no plans. There were no hearings. I, I, I'm not going to second-guess Congress, the administration. Chris, this is about jobs. This is about little leagues. This is about churches in America. I worked in West Virginia. My dad worked in a factory for 43 years to get to Why get Why autos, though? You know, in this industry, Look, TV, they're firing people everywhere, right and left. There's layoffs for everybody, buyouts. You know, in newspapers, you wouldn't believe the number of people I know who have I, I been know. offered buyouts, which are puny, puny mm -hmm. offers to begin with. Everybody seems to be losing their job in this, but how many businesses should be bailed out, sir? Well, what businesses are eligible under your standard? Chris, that, that, just autos? That's part of the tough job of government. No, I don't think it is just autos, but I do think it is, uh, is autos because it's 10% of all the jobs in the country. It will cost us between you, six and eight times more if we don't bail them out than if we spend the money now. Plus, only 15% of the world drives a car today, Chris. We can't afford to trade foreign dependence, our dependence on foreign oil for dependence on foreign ma manufacturing. We can't well, give up this okay, fight you're, right you're, now. You're a, you're a nationalist, well, right? You sound like one. Nothing wrong with it, but you sound like an economic nationalist, like a Pat Buchanan. I'm a competitor. I believe we should compete, but we've got to give these okay. people a fair Mr. hand Gattuso, to compete. So is it important the United States retain its manufacturing base, that we're a company that still makes things? World War II was won largely because we had the productive ability to turn our auto industry into a tank industry, into a yeah. shipbuilding industry. We could build everything. We were the arsenal for democracy because we had a manufacturing base. If we lose that sure. base, can we still survive in terms of our well, security, well, sir? Look, the Can manufacturing we? base. If we don't have a manufacturing, manufacturing base, are we able to we, do we, what we, we have to do in times of, of stress? I, I don't think if there's war with Japan again, I don't think Toyota is going to take its, its factories in, in Kentucky and Alabama and move them back to Tokyo. The factories are here. We're, we're, we're talking about who, who operates them, whether it's the most competitive companies, and, and whether we force the U.S. companies to be as competitive as, yeah. as, as, as the uh, companies based elsewhere. And look, also, I, I think it's pointless to talk about who's a U.S. company and who's a foreign company. You know that 
there, 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 are, there are more cars manufactured by, by, by the, the, the Detroit automakers in Ontario, Canada than there are in Michigan. This, this is an yeah. international industry, and economic nationalism just, just, just doesn't make sense to, to talk about here. So it doesn't matter to you whether we have an American brand uh, auto industry or not? What, what does matter to it me It doesn't is, matter to is, you. Is, no, it doesn't matter does, to you that we have American cars. Do we have cars with American names on them? You know, I don't think the name matters. I don't think the name matters at all. I, I, I would like jobs for Americans, and, and so far, with, with present practices, Detroit has been destroying jobs for Americans. Sean, without that restructuring, Sean, you disagree. without that competition, you think Americans that, that ought have an auto industry? We, we desperately need an auto industry. If we're going to reinvent and make green cars, we need to be able to compete in this country. We need to honor the agreements right. we've made for pensions and jobs. Well, we've got to be able to compete. Well, we're at the heart of the American debate. Gentlemen, it's great having you on. This is the American right. debate right now. It is here at Hardball, too. Thank you, Dan McGinn. Thank you, Thank James Cattuso. Both worthy arguments. Take your side.